hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix the error compiling movie render returned error this problem occurs in premiere pro during exporting our media files or during rendering our media files for exporting i found a very quick and easy way to fix this problem but before i show you how to fix this the easiest way let me show you a couple of things that you should check on your pc so you don't just end up having these errors come up in the future. The first thing you need to check is your media cache. Sometimes Premiere Pro stores a lot of unused files in your PC backlog. So you come over to your file over here, come over to your sequence settings, manage sequence settings and select media cache. And what you want to do is to delete unused file. Sometimes Premiere Pro stores media cache in your database that are old and backlogged that you no longer need. And these backlogs can cause some kind of errors when trying to render or export files in Premiere Pro. So this is the first thing I would recommend that you try. Once this is done, the next thing I would suggest you do is that you save your work and restart your PC. The third thing I would suggest you try is check your renderer. So come over to file, Move to your project settings, hit general and check your renderer. Now if you are editing on Mercury Playback Engine software only, you want to switch it to GPU acceleration and this will actually speed up the rate of Premiere Pro. If you are currently rendering at GPU acceleration, you might also want to try the software only. The only effect on this is that it might really slow down your work but it might successfully edit the video. Another option that was posted by someone in the comment section was that you can change the editor you are currently editing with. So you can move over to sequence over here, select sequence settings and under your editing mode, select it and then you can change your editing mode and if you select any of the editing modes over here, make sure that you are working with the resolution settings and the frame rate that works best with your sequence. Another thing I would suggest you try is to copy and paste your work to another sequence. So what you need to do, come over to this new item over here, select sequence. Make sure that it's the same settings with your current sequence and hit OK. And Premiere Pro is going to create a new sequence for you over here. All you need to do is to go back to your previous sequence, hit Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy. Then move over to your new sequence over here and hit Ctrl V to paste. Now over here you can begin to render and see if that works best for you. Okay, sometimes you will find a timestamp in the error message and this might be the exact point where you want to search for the cause of the problem. Scroll your time here to that exact point where you are experiencing that issue and what you might need to do is just to adjust that clip by a few frames and in most cases this works. If this doesn't work, you might want to look at the effects that are applied to this clip. So select the clip and move over to your effects control panel. In most cases for me, it's usually the warp stabilizer or the lumetri color. So if you want to test, just deselect this effect in your effects control panel and try to export this session only to see if this would export successfully. And if it does work, then you might have found the solution to this issue. A possible solution to this effect is to select the clip, move over to your effects control, deselect the effect from the clip, and drag an adjustment layer above your clip over here and then apply the effects onto that adjustment layer. Or you could change the settings of the effect. For example, for warp stabilizer, you could come down to the effect and change something like the smoothness to fix this error. Now, the fastest way to do this is to select your in and out points on this clip and select all the entire clip over here and nest it. So right click and hit on nest for the entire clips and hit OK. And what this will do is it's going to turn your entire clips into one nested sequence. And if you try to export this, this is going to export easier in Premiere Pro without any error message. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. Please let us know in the comment section if you fixed the problem with one of the solutions provided in this video. This way we can be helpful to one another. Thank you and see you once again.